Okay, let's talk about making the form now that our, our business analyst table has all the required fields in it. Now this form we're going to make in design view. This can be pretty tedious and time consuming, but remember that the form it, it takes a lot to make it, but it's something that will be in your database forever. So you need to take the time to make it right. Um, let me see. I'm starting with my business analyst table and I'm going to create a form in design view. Oof. Okay, here we go. There's the design. We need our field list. Now here's all of our uh, tables here. Um, I'm going to add my existing fields. My field list was over on the right, but I've got my... Um, I've, I'm not recording the whole thing, the whole screen. So business analyst table. Here's my field list with all of my business analyst fields. Now I could grab all of these um, and uh, I can click on, well let me see if I can just grab the whole thing. And, no I can't. Well I don't want to grab these one by one. Let me hold down the uh, shift key. I'm trying to grab more than one and it's usually we can grab a bunch of them at once and it's not working for me so I'm not gonna worry too much about it I'm trying to select them all by the selection bar like this well it's not working for me so they have us put in the business analyst number first I'm not gonna worry how it looks because it's gonna look horrible um, and then I need to drag first name last name salary year to date start date uh, certification um, phone number I forgot phone number in there okay look something like this now I could go oh I'm gonna close this so we have more room um, I could drag over here in this bar area and then you see that it selects all of them. I can click just this much and drag this much. Now the thing I want you to remember, and I'm not going to sit here and, and tediously move all of this for you. The book talks about how to align these um, now that we have them arranged, but I want you to think about two things. One, this is the control. The control is nothing but the title. This is for human eyes. This is the, I'm sorry, this is the label. Jeez, that's not very good of me, sorry. This is the label. This is the control. The label is for human eyes. The computer doesn't need that. The program doesn't need that. The program needs this. The control is what's linked to the table. This is the important one. The label is only important for you and me not for the database itself. So you can see that it's a bit tedious at moving them all. Um, that's why moving a whole bunch at once might be easier. Um, I don't remember, I'm not going to worry about how it how it wants us to do this, but I want to show you one thing. When I grab a control, it will grab the label with it. But if I want to move a label individually or a control individually, I can grab the little gray bar up here and move just that object. So you do have um, the ability to move them separately. And then I'm holding down the control key and I'm selecting multiple things and I can do multiple things to them at once. I can Oh, let me see. I can format them to a different size. Uh, I can do other things. I should be able to. I want to make sure that we're seeing all of this. Um, uh, I can align. Oh, here's my align. You can hardly see the align. Um, Anyway, in your book, it has you start to align these. I know you're not seeing this very well because I can tell where it's recording. Let me see if I can stretch that out. Okay, so here's the alignment. So you're going to use these um, to align left, right, top to bottom, space between them, this kind of stuff. So read your book carefully. I'm not going to take the time to do all of that. 
All right, so here's our field list. Let me bring this a little bit back in. All right. Um, we need to have a title in here, and we don't have a title yet. And that is a object I can put right here on the design. And once I choose a title, it pops it in here. Now, this when I look at it in form view, you can see it's blue on the top with white. Let me go back to design view. Um, and that's what this themes are, you know, changing this, then it makes that look different. I, I, I don't care. Pick a theme, pick something. Okay. All right. And it's put a uh, label in here for me. So then I can title this Business Analyst Master Form. Oh my goodness. Why do my type blocks always, why are they always on? Business Analyst. Uh, master form. All right. Um, I want to talk about the picture field, so I'm going to put the picture field in here. And when I remember, we couldn't see the picture in the table, but in the form, we can see the picture. There's the picture. And as I make this box grow, the picture will grow too. Well, the picture doesn't. The picture box doesn't need to be this big. You can see there's extra space down here. That will depend on the picture that you chose to put in. Let me create it like this and see what happens. Okay, so you can see that it's changing size as I do, as I change this. Um, and the one thing that we want to look at, and, and in this chapter you will look at a few, and if you don't, I want you to understand about it. I, I think you do. You look at the properties of something. So I've I, here's my existing field. I have right next to that the property sheet, and I have the picture selected. The picture control, not the picture label. The picture control. So this is all of the things for the picture control. And you can see that it's a bound object. Let me stretch this out a little. And uh, we want the picture visible. It's coming from the table in the picture field. The size mode is zoom. And there's three different kinds, clip, stretch, and zoom. Clip means it will clip the picture to whatever size this box is. So if the picture's this big, it will clip it and make it only this big. Stretch means it will fit the picture, tweak it out of proportion to exactly fit this space. And zoom is the one you want. What it does is it takes the picture in its original um, size or format and tries to fit it, keeping all the proportions and fit it into this space. So that's the one you want. Um, also, this background style, I could get rid of the border around here because remember when I'm in form view, you can see that this box is bigger than the picture really needs to be. So if I wanted to get rid of that shadow so you couldn't really tell how big this box is, I could do that. Um, you can see some of my labels are missing um, information. This is one of the things I want you to think about when you're making this form. Everything should be visible on screen. You should see all of the word number. You and I know that this is start date. You and I know this is phone number, but it needs to be right for whoever is adding information to this certification. Certification and is missing. All right, let's see. It asks to uh, make some cha format changes. I'm going to close my property sheet. Um, and there's properties for everything. Here's the properties for the number, right? And when I click on business analyst, here's the properties for business analyst. Here's the properties for certification, okay? Year to date, this is a label. Oh, I'm sorry. I clicked on certification and this is the label. Here's the control there, certification, control. All right. Really get used to the idea of labels and controls. Okay, I'm closing this. And you're going to make yours look pretty. Mine doesn't look very pretty. It has you do some formatting with all of the labels. Um, changing the, I don't know, font color or something. You change it to some pretty blue or something like that. Doesn't matter. 
you, you'll make it look nice. Oh, that's too small. Okay. Um, the uh, I want to talk about the subform you're going to put on here. So we have a form, the master form, and each one of these business analysts, I'm sorry, business analyst master form, each one of these business analysts has multiple clients. So within this form, we want to be able to see their clients. So I can do that by adding a sub form. These are the different controls we have. Here's a text box, which is, this is a text box. That's the label for text box. That's the, yeah the object. This is a label. This is a label. Right here is the label. Whoops, I shouldn't have made that. I shouldn't have clicked on it. This is a command button. We'll use that labor later. Tab control. We'll use that later. And I'm looking for, uh, not combo box. I'm looking for, uh, I, I like to make sure I see the words themselves on the screen. There it is, sub report, sub form. Because this is a form, it'll make a sub form. If I'm in a report and I use this button, it'll make a sub report. Okay, so I'm gonna click on it. Here is, it creates this icon. I, I can click and drag or I can just click, it doesn't matter. I, I'm gonna have to resize it later. All right, so it says, what do you want this to be? And I want the information from the various clients for each business analyst. So it's coming from a different table. What table? It's coming from the client table. Um, and what information do I want to show up here? I want the client's number and the client's name and the money issues, amount paid and current due. Those are the only four fields I want in this subform. Now this is a good thing. If you have more than one choice in here, that means there's something wrong with your tables. So what this is saying is show client for each record in the business analyst table, right? Each client has one business analyst, so it understands that the business analyst number is the thing that's linking these two tables together. And if you have more than one choice, it doesn't understand what link to use. So you would have to tell it, choose this one. But hopefully you only have one choice. That's a good thing. Okay, client subform. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, what name would you like it to be? Now the book doesn't tell you to leave it as subform, but I'm telling you, I would. Um, you can change the name of the label. Whatever's here is going to end up on this label. You can see it says child 10. Um, but w we can change this later. I want it left subform because in my list of um, forms over here in my object bar, I want to know what is the form and what is the subform. Otherwise, I'll have two things called client or clients or it's just too close. Um, you could use FBF, uh, yes, SBF subform. I'll do it as that. Okay. So then here's my label, and I can change the label name to Clients of Analyst. Clients of uh, Analysts. Analyst. All right. Now, uh, and then I can, let me see if I can do this. Yes, I can format paint. I've selected my name. This is what I want the Clients of Analyst to look like. I've click my paint box and then I click here. There. So it's exactly the same. I could do the same thing to all of them if I double click. Click. Now that I double click, it'll stay this way until I make changes to it. All right. Turn it off. What's this? My picture field. All right. So I need to drag this down. Um oh, goodness. Yeah. We need to make this look pretty. You'll make yours look pretty. Certification. Okay. Let's look at it in form view. So this business analyst has, ele uh, number 11, has uh, five clients. Let's look at the next, 14 has three clients. I'm looking at the next button. Whoops, let me pull this down. I'm going next here. Next, next. This, let me go back to the beginning. This, one through five, are these clients, not the business analysts. The business analyst information is down here. Okay, back to the beginning. Um, I can see that this isn't big enough and I have a scroll bar, which I don't like. 
I'm going to double click, I'm going to double click, because I shouldn't need all of this. So this really isn't big enough. I, I should, this subform only has four fields, so I should be able to make this subform bigger. And I can do that in Design View by clicking on it and dragging it bigger. Now, you'll notice that in here, our, oh, let me click off, click back on. In here, our fields are listed top to bottom, right? But in reality, they go across the top. I don't know. That's just the way it is. <laughs> I don't know why. Why doesn't it show exactly how it will be on screen? I don't know. It lists the um, fields um, going this way, but when we look at it in data sheet view, it's coming across this way. All right, so that's looking good. Dun, 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 good. All right. Back to design view. Okay. Um, I can make this bigger if I want. If I need more space, I can make this bigger. Uh, pull this down. Start to make it look pretty. Maybe make this a wee bit bigger. Now I can I can move this in here and make it look good on here, but I, it's just not keeping it. Why won't it keep it? So I'm going to go into my subform over here. Ah, look at SBF subform, and I'm going to make changes here and see if I make the changes in the subform there if they will if it will keep this. Um, formatting for me. So my business analyst master form is already saved. I'm going to say yes, save all of the changes. Uh, form name. Oh, I haven't uh, named this business analyst master form. Business analyst master form. Okay. So I'm going to go into this one and I'm going to best fit all of these columns and see if it will keep that when I open this. Ah, sure enough, they're all best fit. Okay, so you can see why I leave it named subform because I want to understand of these forms which one's the subform. Okay, um, the rest of this is all about formatting, using the properties box to format and really making it look pretty. The only other thing I'm going to talk about, because I don't want this video to get too long, when I hit the tab key, you can see how it's tabbing through, and it goes, you know, one, two, three, then to salary, then to start date certification, back up the phone number, back down to picture. Well, for one thing, it shouldn't stop on picture. Um, it shouldn't, uh, well, let me see, tab, and it will start tabbing through here. That's fine. but. I want it to tab, let me go to a new record. I want it to tab through however you have it, when you get it set up, it should be in a logical order. One, two, three, four, five, six. It can skip the picture or not. I don't know how you want to set it up. Um, and then on and on. So I want my tab order uh, to be, go back to the home tab, go back to design view. I want the tab order of my form. And when I click up here in the very left over here, this is the form. Uh, if I click on my property sheet, it's the property of the form itself, the whole form, not individual things inside of it, but the form itself. So I want the whole form, and it's the tab order of the form I want. And you can see here's the tab order. Business analyst, first name, last name, year to date. I want phone number. If I have phone number, you know, in this order, I don't know. But I would want phone number to be the fourth thing. So I just click and drag it. Then year to date, salary, start date, certification. Okay. So the tab order is okay, but I don't want it to... Um, click on the picture field and that's something I have to do in the properties sheet. So one of the things we have in the properties sheet is tab stop. Let me find it. Oops, sorry. I'm touching the microphone. That's not good. Tab stop. There's a lot of stuff in here. Tab stop. It says yes and I'm going to change it to no. So now the tab, it won't stop on that tab. So let's look. Tab, 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 
tab tab skips right over the picture okay all right I'm going to stop there um, and you ask me any questions you have in class all right good job